We were camped upon the plains at the head of the Cimarron When a dog come a stranger who stopped to argue some He looked so very foolish we began to look around For we thought he was a greenhorn just escaped from town We asked him to have breakfast, he hadn't had a smear So we opened up the chuck box and bade him have his share He filled up on some coffee, some biscuits and some beans And then began to talk about them foreign kings and queens About the Spanish wars and fighting on the seas With guns as big as steers and ramrods big as trees About Paul Jones, that fighting son of a gun Who was the grittiest cuss who ever packed a gun Such an educated feller, his thoughts came out in herds He astonished all them cowboys with his highfalutin words He kept right on a talking till it made the boys all sick And they began to figure how to play a trick He said he lost his job up on the Santa Fe And he was traveling across the plains to strike the 7D He didn't say how it come some trouble with the boss He said he'd like to borrow a nice fat saddle horse This tickled the boys to death, they laughed down in their sleeves We'll loan you a horse just as fat as you please Oh, Shorty grabbed a lariat and roped the zebra done Turned him over to the stranger and waited for the fun Oh, Dunny was an outlaw who had grown so awful wild He could paw the white right out of the moon whenever he got riled He stood right still and waited as if he didn't know Until he was all saddled and ready for to go When the stranger hit the saddle, old Dunny quit the earth And traveled right straight up for all that he was worth A pitching and a squalling and a having a wall like fits His hind feet perpendicular, his front ones in the pits We could see the tops of mountains under Dunny every jump The stranger he was growed there just like the camel's hump The stranger sat upon him and he curled his black mustache Just like a summer boarder waiting for the hash He spurred him in the shoulders and spurred him when he whirled To show those flunky punchers he's a wolf of all the world And while he was a riding took the makings in his hand And rolled and lit a cigarette like ain't the weather grand Oh, when he had dismounted once more upon the ground We knowed he was a thoroughbred and not a gent from town The boss who had been standing around a watching of the show Walked right up to the stranger and told him you need to go If you can throw the lasso like you rode old Zebra Dunn You're the man that I've been looking for since the year of one Well, he could throw the lasso and he didn't do it slow Caught the four feet nine times out of ten and never missed a throw And when it came to stampedes, he was always on the spot And set the herd to milling like the boiling of a pot There's one thing and a sure thing I have learned since I was born Every educated feller ain't a plum green horn Snapping out bronze for the old flying you At forty a month is a good buckaroo And the boss comes around and he says, Now, my lad, riding them tough ones why you don't look bad Riding them rank ones why you ain't so slow And you may do some good at the big rodeo I'm a-tightening my rigging, I'm a-hitting the dust Headed for Dodge City, a bad bramer bull to bust Steps right up, and I pay Zinner's fees. Tell the boys to look at their new champ, that is me. 
They looked me all over, they thought I was full. They offered me a seat on the bad Bramer Bowl. Well, I ain't much to talk and I'm not much to brag, but I come a long ways. Just a gentle lad stag, they say he's a bugger and a well he might be, but he looks like a wiener, a suckling to me. While they was putting the bull in the chutes, I was strapping the spurs to the heels of my boots. And I looks the bull over, and to my surprise, he's a foot and a half. Right between his two eyes, on top of his shoulders, he's got a big hump. I tightens my rigging right back of that lump, and I lights in his middle and lets out a cr scream. He goes out a bucking, and the rest is a dream. He jumps to the left, comes down to the right. I ain't no greenhorn, I'm still setting tight. He's a bucking and a ballin' and a blowin' his nose, a snapping the buttons right off of my clothes. That sun in his belly, he couldn't be beat. He's a showin' the buzzards, the soles of his feet. He's a bucking so low that my boots filled with dirt. He's making a whip of the tail of my shirt. Then he goes to fence rovin' and a weavin' behind my head goes to snappin' and a soda goes blind. Then he goes to high divin' and I lets out a groan. We go up together and he comes down alone. Up high I turns over below I could see. He's a pawin' up earth just a waitin' for me. Then I notices something that couldn't be true. The brand on his hip was the old flying you. When I landed, he charged, but I had enough sense to outrun that bull to a hole in the fence. Well, I dove through that hole, and I want you to know that I ain't a going back to no rodeo. That straddling them bad ones, you can bet I'm all through. I'm a sore footin' it back to the old flying you.
tell you something, boys, if you will listen, please. I'm an old cow puncher, and here I'm dressed in rags. I used to be a tough one and take on great big jags. For I've got a home, boys, a good one, you all know. Although I have not seen this is long, long ago. I'm going back to Dixie once more to see them all. I'm going to see my mother when her work's all done this fall. When I left my home, boys, my mother for me cried. She begged me not to leave her, for me she might have died. My mother's heart is breaking, breaking for me, that's all. And I'm going back to see her when the work's all done this fall. When the roundup's over and all the shipping's done, I'm going to go right home, boys, or all my money's gone. I'm going to change my ways, boys, no more will I fall. I'm going to see my mother when the work's all done this fall. That very night this cowboy went out to stand his guard. The night was very dreary, it was raining very hard. The cattle lay got frightened and rushed in wild stampede. This cowboy tried to head on my riding at full speed. While riding in the darkness, so loudly did he shout Trying his best to head on, turn the herd about He saddle horse did stumble, and on him did fall That boy won't see his mother when the work's all done this fall His body was so mangled, the boys all thought him dead up so gently and laid him on a bed. He opened wide his blue eyes and looking all around. He motioned to his comrades to sit by on the ground. Said, Mother, my wages, the wages I have earned. For I'm afraid, boys, my last year I have turned. I'm going to a new I hear the master's call And I won't see my mother When the work's all done this fall George may have my saddle And Fred may have my bed Bill may have my pistol After I am dead And think upon me kindly As you look upon them all For I won't see my mother When the work's all done this fall Buried him at sunrise, no tombstone at his head. Nothing but a little slab, and this is what it said. Poor Charlie died at daybreak, he died from a fall. And he won't see his mother when the work's all done this fall. Way up high in the shiery peaks where the yeller pines grows tall, old Sandy Bob and Buster Jig had a row deer camp last fall. They taken their horses and their running arms and maybe a dog or two, and they loudly brand all the long-eared calves that come within their view. And any old doggy that flapped long ears and didn't bush up by day, Got his long ears whittled and his old hide sizzled in the most artistic way. Now one fine day, old Sandy Bob, he throwed his seagull down. I'm sick of the smell of burning the hair and allows I'm a going to town. So they saddles up and they hits him a lope for it weren't no sight of a ride. And them was the days when a buckaroo could oil up his insides. They starts her in at the Kentucky bar at the head of Whiskey Row, and they winds up down by the depot house some forty drinks below. They then sets up and turns around and goes her the other way, and to tell you the God-forsaken truth, 
Them boys got stewed that day As they was a riding back to camp A packing a pretty good load Who should they meet but the devil himself A prancing down the road Says he, you ornery cowboy skunks You'd better hunt your holes For I've come up from hell rim rock To gather in your souls Says Sandy Bob, old devil be damned We boys is kind of tight but you ain't gonna gather no cowboy's soul Thought you has some kind of a fight So Sandy Bob punched a hole in his rope And he swang her straight and true He lapped it on to the devil's horns And it taken his dallies too Now Buster Jig was a Riata man With his gut line coiled up neat So he shaken her out and he built him a loop And he lashed the devil's hind feet Oh, they stretched him out and they tailed him down, and while the irons was a getting hot, they cropped and they swallowed forty years, and they branded him up a lot. They pruned him up with a dehorning saw and knotted his tail for a joke, then rid off and left him there neck to a blackjack oak. If you're ever up high in the side of the peaks and you hear one hell of a wail, You'll know it's that devil a bellering around about them knots in his tail. Jake and the Rony were chousing along. Jake was a singing what he called song. When up from a waller, what should appear but a moss horned maverick, a bosky steer. Jake started out with his hat pulled down, build him a hat that would snare a town. That steer he headed for the setting sun And believe me, neighbor, he could hump and run Old Rony, he followed his partner's deal Two old waddies that could head and heel Both of them riding for the chicken Keep with a red-hot iron and a hungry loo The sun was a-shining in old Jake's eyes He weren't looking for no surprise that steer gave a wiggle like his dress was tight Busted through a juniper and dropped from side Jake and his pony done a figure eight Jake done his adding just a mite too late He left the saddle on a sea in the red Landed in the gravel of a river bay Old Rony's horse was a good horse too But he couldn't understand just why Jake flew so he humped and headed for the cave yard and left Rony sitting where the ground was hard. Old Jake was a looking at a swelled up thumb, says he, I reckon we were going some. When a Rony hollers, get a move in quick, or sure gonna tangle with that maverick. Rony climb a straddle of a juniper tree, there's no more room up here, yells he. Then Jake, he figured his hide too safe by backing in the opening of a cut bank cave. That steer, he prodded with his head on one side, couldn't quite make it to old Jake's hide. Kept snorting and a-prodding and a-pawing about, every time he quit, why Jake come out? You fool, yells Rony, keep back out of sight, you act like a hankering to make him fight. Then Jakey hollers kind of fierce and queer Back hell, nothing, there's a bear in here Un domingo estando errando Se encontraron dos vaqueros Metiendo mano a sus fierros Como queriendo pelear Cuando se estaban peleando Pues llega su padre de uno, oye mi hijo Felipe, ya no pelees con ninguno. Quítese de aquí mi padre, que estoy más bravo que un león, no vaya a sacarle espada y le trespas el corazón. Oye mi hijo Felipe, por lo que acabas de hablar, mañana rayando el sol, la vida te han de quitar. Enciaron sus caballos, fueron a bajar ganado, bajaron el toro prieto que nunca lo habían bajado. Lo metieron al corral, el caporal lo lazó a las trancas del corral, el diablo se lo llevó. 
Dice al hermano más chico Felipe, ¿qué te pasó? La maldición de mi padre al momento me alcanzó. Lo que le encargo a mi padre, que no me entierre en sagrado, que me entierre en tierra bruta donde me pise el ganado. Con una mano de fuera y un papel sobre dorado, con un letrero que diga Felipe fue el desgraciado. El caballo colorado hace dos años nació, a ese lo dejo a mi padre por la crianza que le dio. De tres caballos que tengo, a ese los dejo a los pobres para que siquiera digan, Felipe Dios te perdone. Ya con esta me despido con la estrella del oriente, eso le puede pasar al hijo desobediente. Two cowboys left their camp one day to lead in a bald-faced deer, and what befell them along the way you're now going to hear. As they was a-riding through the brush around the side of a hill, when all at once they come upon a hidden moonshine still. Well, the moonshiner heard them a-coming, a-coming through the brush, And he thought that the sheriff had him sure, so he left there all in a rush. Says one old boy to the other old boy, now this here's mighty queer. I wish that you would tell me the name of this contraption here. The coil was a gas line stole from a Ford, and the still was a coal oil can. But out of the spout and into a jug, the old corn liquor ran. Them boys got down and they hefted the jug and it found it full pretty nigh. So they each took a snort right then and there for they was tolerable dry. Says one old boy, let's go from here for we've got work to do. So they got on the horses and they rode away and the jug it went along too. When they got to the place where the steer was tied they was feeling mighty gay. For they had stopped to tilt that jug most all along the way. Says one old boy, that's the darndest steer that ever I did find. He's got two heads and a dozen legs and fourteen tails behind. <coughs> 
How they got that oxen loose from the tree, it would be hard to tell. But when they went to lead him away, what seems that they just had hell. Oh, the steer bowed up and he sulled again, and they seen that he never would lead. So they figured it a jolt of moonshine was the very thing he'd need. So they rolled old steer upon his back, and they held him by the horns. And down his sizzling goose, they poured a quart of corn. Says one old boy, let's turn him loose, and we'll get him home real quick. He's bound to want him a chaser, and he'll go right straight to the creek. But the bald-faced deer, he pawed the ground, and he bawled and he bellered too. Then he walled his eyes, and he wrung his tail, and he shook his hocks and flew. That oxen simply left the world as hard as he could go. And if he kept on drifting, he's down in Mexico. This story has a moral, and you will find it here. If you ever have any moonshine, don't waste none on no steer. Oh, bury me not on the lone prairie. These words came slow and mournfully from the pallid lips of a youth who lay on his dying bed at the close of day. Oh, bury me not on the lone prairie where the wild coyote will howl or me where the blizzard beats and the wind blows free oh bury me not on the lone prairie it matters not i have oft been told where the body lies when the heart grows cold yet grant oh grant this wish to me oh bury me not on the lone prairie I have always wished to be laid when I died in the little churchyard on the green hillside by my father's grave there let mine be oh bury me not on the lone prairie let death's slumbers be where a mother's prayer and a sister's tears may mingle there where my friends may come and weep over me oh bury me not on the lone prairie oh bury me his voice fell there, but we took no heed to his dying prayer in a narrow grave, just six by three. We buried him there on the lone prairie, and now as the cowboys roam the plain, for they mark the spot. Where his bones were lain, throw a handful of roses o'er his grave with a prayer to him who his soul may save. I used to make money a running wild cattle in them good old days for the business went wrong when a hot running iron and a good long riata was all that was needed to start you along. I had no bookkeeper to help run my outfit. I just kept her all in a small tally book and a Durham tobacco sack held my spare money and I run my outfit all on my own hook. 
And no one asked questions concerning my business. I wouldn't have answered a one anyhow. I just would have told them to go to the devil. But things is quite different with cattlemen now. For nowadays it seems that the whole darn creation has got to know everything under the sun. They even keep cases on all of your doggies and tell you the way that your outfit should run. With the bankers and the lawyers and the forest officials, with the land office men and inspectors as well, a riding the cowman all over the county, no wonder his business is all gone to hell. I went to a banker to borrow some money when times it was hard and my pocket was low. He looked over his glasses and he pulled his chin whiskers and these was the things that he wanted to know. Oh, who was your father and who was your mother and where was you born and if so, tell me why? How many times have you been in the cooler and where do you think you will go when you die? Well, we'll mortgage your outfit at 8% interest. I'm sure it's the only thing for you to do. Now go see your lawyer and for $500, he'll draw up the papers and fix it for you. Well, there come to my ranch house a young forest ranger, a slim scissor bill in some leather puttees. He had him a hatchet tied onto his saddle and all that he knowed was the herding of trees. Well, he got out a pencil and 17 papers and spread them all out just as neat as could be. He then looked as wise as a tree full of barn owls, and these was the words that this man says to me. How many cattle have you on your ranges, and how many head did you say that you'd sold? Let's have your calf tally with the steers and the heifers. How many have you eat, and how many have you stole? When you drive to the railroad to ship out your cattle, you'll find the inspector a-hanging around. He'll sit on a fence post and chaw your tobacco, and these is some laws that he's apt to lay down. Them critters that's a-packin' two irons must be vented, and all of them calves must have mothers, says he. The board down in Phoenix claims all or hannas but there's a hell of a lot that they never do see. Now the income tax hombre, he'll ask you more questions. The assessor will think up a dozen or two. Each one of these buzzards cuts in on your bankroll, and soon there is nothing at all left for you. Now maybe a cowman's reward is in heaven, if heaven is a place where a cow hen could go. But I'll bet you my saddle that here's what would happen. There'd be 40 things that St. Peter must know. Oh, how many angels have you in your chorus? And how many tunes on your harp can you play? How many white robes have you got in your war bag? How many gold streets have you dug up today? Well, if there's no other place that is left for the cowman, I guess that a journey to hell would be best, where they'll shovel him into the door of the furnace, and there's where old cowman might get him some rest.